Hello guys, welcome back to the channel once again. Today I'm super, super, mega excited to be sharing this video with you guys because today we're going to be talking about Holy Yokes and we're going to talk about the relationship that is happening between Juliet and Perry. I have actually done a previous video regarding their relationship on how everything has started. So this is basically going to be a part two of that. A lot has been happening between those two ladies and I just had to share it with you guys just in case any of you don't know about the show so you can go ahead and watch it because it is amazing it has everything that is needed in a show and in a lesbian couple so before we get into more details please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and also let me know your personal opinion down below in the comments as well regarding this couple if you have watched them before and what are your personal thoughts on them so let's not waste any more time and let's get right into it and i also want to say if i mispronounce anything or say anything you might not understand i truly truly apologize in advance so let's get right into it so basically just a quick quick sum up you know juliet and perry they used to be in a long relationship and they actually have decided to get engaged but then Juliet started to feel an attraction towards Nadira and they started to have like a secret affair and Perry knew that Juliet was seeing someone else but Juliet always keep lying to her and telling her that no she's not seeing nobody that you know Perry is tripping but then Perry later on found out that who the person is that Juliet cheated with and she found out that it was actually Nadira someone who were very very close to them and after that basically uh, Juliet and Nadira ended up together Nadira you know called off her wedding so she and Juliet can be together and they made their relationship public immediately and of course Perry did everything in her power to get you know Juliet back but Juliet was just treating her so bad in so many ways that Perry was like okay she doesn't want me we just broke up and she already made her you know her, her relationship public with a new girlfriend so it is what it is i'm just gonna give up even though i love her so as time progresses you know uh, perry she have tried to date other people but it just didn't work out and she ended up being single and juliet was you know in a happy relationship with her new girlfriend nadira in this case but as time progresses um Juliet and Nadira's relationship started to also, you know, tremble a little bit because they were not seeing eye to eye on a, on a lot of things. According to Nadira, Juliet, you know, personality and things between, like, it just wasn't the same and, sh and she thought there were a problem between them. Perry actually tried to get Juliet back. Meanwhile, she was with Nadira. She was actually, you know, willing to forgive Juliet for cheating on her and, you know, and then going to have a whole new relationship with the person she cheated with. And Perry was just very, very desperate to get Juliet back. But Juliet used to mistreat her so much and just reject her, retract her publicly, publicly and scream to her just horrible, horrible. And juliet cheated on perry and then as things progresses juliet actually ended up cheating on nadira with perry and the day after you know they hooked up you know juliet ignored perry but then nadira found out that juliet cheated with perry you know on her and it was a whole situation going on then you know nadira confronted perry for the cheating and then uh, Perry told Nadira you can say anything to me regarding me sleeping with Juliet because the last time I remembered you slept with her while I was with her so it was this whole situation going on so during that a specific moment during that whole argument when Nadira and Perry got into a physical altercation you know that's when Juliet actually reveals that she has cancer and of course that left everybody all like nobody was expecting her to say that and after that you know after Nadira found out that Juliet slept with Perry, they actually ended their relationship. So in this case, Juliet was single. She found out she was, you know, she had cancer. And at this point, Perry is a nurse. You know, while she, while, while she and Juliet they were together, she was actually working on her nursing license, and she really finally got it. So that's how Juliet and Perry started to get close again with one another, because you know. Uh, Perry in this case was Juliet's nurse so they started to spend more time together and also Juliet started to you know to find more like a comfort zone in Perry during this very difficult process that she's going through with you know with the medication and and everything that she has to do in order to get you know better when it comes to her health situation and that's when Juliet and Perry actually got back together everything was good you know uh 
you know, Juliet finally opened her feelings to Perry and asked her for forgiveness and told her that she loves her and that she wants her back and she that and that she hopes that it's not too late because at that point Perry was already, you know, like putting Juliet's feelings uh, aside and just seeing Juliet as a friend and being there for her during this whole difficult situation when it comes to her health. So then Juliet and Perry, they got back together. Everything was okay. They were starting to have that chemistry romance again. Nadira at this point, she's out of the picture. But Juliet and Nadira, they are so cool. They're cordial. They're friends. And as, as things progresses, you know, Juliet's health just starting to get worse and worse because the chemotherapy that she was that she's doing is not, you know, the, at the beginning that the therapy wasn't working so she had to do more sessions and it's very very heavy on her body and you know uh, Perry is by her side to help her and support her through everything but Juliet is starting to get very frustrated with Perry because she feels like Perry treats her as a patient and she doesn't need to be treated like a patient she wants to be treated like you know Perry is her girlfriend and she's there for her you not know, seeing her like she is sick because she already feels sick she's tired of feeling sick and she doesn't want to be seen as a sick person she needs a partner that doesn't remember reminds her of what she has and of course perry is like no juliet i can only see you like that i'm your girlfriend but i'm also your take your your caretaker i know what you're going through you know i can't just act like it's not happening so that ended up causing a lot of situations and juliet started to party drink you know being very reckless when it comes to her health and of course perry was very overprotected over it because she was like like you need to chill you need to take better care of yourself you're not eating you're drinking you need to do better because if you really want you know the chemotherapy to work you have to do better you have to make changes and juliet slowly slowly is adapting to the changes until she got in trouble with the police at <clears throat> at a party that she went to when Perry found out she actually went to this party you know things actually escalated and and it looks like she's gonna get arrested I don't know I'm not really sure about it that's where I stopped watching it <clears throat> but I will definitely be keeping you guys updated regarding that situation and I also want to say is that uh there's actually a very specific question that Juliet asked Perry. She asked Perry if she wouldn't have cancer, would they have still been together? That's actually a very, very good question. Would they have been together? I don't think so. I feel like Juliet confined in Perry because she knows that Perry is the best person to be by her side during this difficult moment. And I know she loves her, but I feel like if she wasn't ill, they wouldn't be together because we all know that Juliet is a very complicated young lady that, you know, mistreats people, but Perry is always there for her no matter what. So she feels like that's the person that she needs to be with because Perry told her that she's her person and she doesn't want to be with nobody else but Juliet. So that's their situation. I will definitely be keeping you guys updated with everything that's been going on. Definitely will be making a part three. So yes, guys, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video until the next one and also let me know your thoughts on what other you know commentary should i go ahead and do i hope you guys enjoy this one and goodbye